Hey. Hey, here's Goofball. And I'm Mitten. And we're coming to you from Caledonia, Michigan. And want to give you a little bit of a trip update. Uh, we did start our AT hike on February 23rd, Sunday. Um, and we hiked for three full days and uh, got off the trail on the third evening at Cooper Gap at the 12.2 mile marker and went back to George, Georgia? Yeah. Yep, Blair, Blairsville. Yeah, Blairsville, Georgia. And uh, so um, just a quick update before we actually show you the video. We're back home only because I needed to come home and regroup. I didn't injure myself, but I had a, I have an existing knee injury that I'm trying just trying to manage the pain. And I realized that I had bitten off a little bit uh, uh, more than what I could chew and um, so I just need to go back and rethink some of my hiking strategies. I will be coming back in a couple weeks and I will still be hiker number 311 which was assigned to me when we picked up the tag and so I just wanted to again keep you uh, updated, appreciate your uh, concern and your subscriptions and so here let's show, a, show you the video. Hey, come on along. Thank you. Sign in the registry at Springer Mountain. We made it. Um, I'm hiker number 311. I registered yesterday on Saturday. Um, uh, I, feel, I felt rested from last night. We slept in a hostel and then got shuttled to the parking lot and then we, have to, we had to hike up to the uh, official southern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, beginning of uh, an adventure. So once you got to the start point, what were some of the things that you were thinking about? I, um, is it gonna be emotional? That's all right. It took a lot of planning to get this far for me. I have never made such a big commitment in my life. And I think the emotional adjustment will take me a while. But I am happy to be here. I'm, and I'm very, probably nervous too at the same time uh, but I'm hoping to gain confidence with each step and uh, just try to have joy in my adventure well now that I'm a little bit more composed um, originally I found out about this trail when I was a teenager and my mom would always uh, I think uh, 
never really talked to her about her dreams, but she always had books around uh, Grandma Gatewood. Uh, she was aware of, I don't think she ever read her book, but she latched onto that National Geographic book that came out in the 70s that documented that uh, writer photographer's uh, trip. And uh, so that book was around all the time. And we went on a series of hikes throughout the years in the 1970s, but my mom would always uh, dangle the carrot of, we're going to Gatlinburg. If you, if you do this with me for a week, we're gonna go to Gatlinburg. And so that was always my reward. But I remember it was a very hard, hard trip. There was never a time when it was easy for me. So, you know, it's kind of hard to say. I'm not sure if I'm maybe walking in my mom's uh, footprints. It's, it's really, it's a, it's a challenging time right now. Our next little water source here. About a half mile from Stover Creek. What is that? Shelter. <laughs> uh. yeah. Yay. Yeah, I did it. Jack Filter and Marty from Stover Creek. We are headed up to the shelter. I think it's going to be uh, pretty close. Hard to say. Sorry I haven't been videoing today. It's been challenging for me. Not much to see, but there will be, I promise. Stick with me. Good morning. We stayed last night, our first night, at this lovely shelter. It's called the Stover Creek Shelter. Isn't this pretty? Oh boy, it really worked out very well. Um, I was afraid I was going to get super, super cold, but I'm very grateful I stayed dry. Um, we had a nice little group that stayed with us, of course. We're slow. It's after 9 o'clock and they're long gone. And it's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm not out here to... See that dog? That dog is lost and it's also injured. I think it's a blue tick hound. It has... I think either a tracking collar or a bark collar and then also a yellow collar but that was with us all night last night jumping from bed to bed trying to keep warm but we couldn't afford the luxury of a dog. Anyway, uh, our goal today is Hawk Mountain Shelter. Here's the inside of the Stover shelter. They have an upper bunk up above and a lower and last night we stayed at the lower and when I get a little bit more experienced I'll show you you know how we're cooking and just right now it's taking a long time to get packed. 